dark fruits, resins. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have the Glenmorangy Quinta Reuben, 12 years old, here on my cask. And it's 46% ABV, unchill filtered and uncolored. Thank you Glenmorangy for this. And the Quinta Reuben uh, is a Glenmorangy matured for 10 years in the classical Ex bourbon casks and then finished in ruby port wine casks from the Douro Valley in Portugal. And Quinta means uh, this uh, bodega, this Quintas. I'm not talk speaking Portuguese. Uh, Quintas bodegas and the Ruben stays for red. So it's the red. Uh, port wine, the ruby port wine. And this brings this wonderful uh, mahogany color to this whiskey. And uh, it appeared in, on the market in 2010. And before there had been a port wine finish, a port wood finish. On the market it has 46.5 ABV. And uh, those old bottles, uh, the typical standard liquor bottle was used then, uh, bring extraordinary prices in auctions. So the first potwood finish is really a collector's item and uh, yeah I think you have to pay over a hundred today for uh, one of those old bottles and this one uh, is below 50, still below 50. Um, <clears throat> but more expensive than the La Santa I tasted yesterday, <laughs> just five minutes ago. Um, yeah, um, non-chill filtered. And what are they telling here? The Quintas, or wine estates of Portugal, provide the ruby podcast for this velvety textured Glamorangy. Ruben is the Gallic for ruby. Here we go. Yep. Already a whiny note. This is a really wonderful color in this whiskey. What are they telling in the back? Um, ruby red in color and inspired by our visits to the quintas of the Iberian Peninsula, Glenmorangy Quinta Ruben owes its velvet rich smoothness and long finish to the highest quality Portuguese podcast collected for excellent. Blur. Yeah, in the early 1990s, our passion for wood led us to experiment with extra mature Glamorangi in a different cask for only the last couple of years of maturation to great success. Yeah, the journey of passion, legendary legacy. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> and then there is a small leaflet in this card box. And here they tell about the different uh, maturation styles, the different cask types, uh, the full range. And for the podcast they write, the bouquet of Glenmorangy Quinta Ruben recalls the fruity notes of our pot pipes imported directly from the cellars of the Quintas of the Douro Valley. <laughs> the ruby and the Douro Valley is the most, or the, um, the most often produced uh, port wine in Portugal. So this is no selection, this is mass. <clears throat> uh, when Glamorangy undergoes further maturation in these cars, it acquires the velvety aromas of port, a chocolatey mint aroma and a ruby glow. The ruby glow is really true. So here we go. <sighs> Tangerine. Sweet oranges, spices, 
dark fruits, resins, dark chocolate. Nutty, sandalwood, this is a overwhelming aroma, it's really, really intense. This is very, very well done. Yeah, one of my favorite, I know that. In the start, silky, velvety, and then kick in spiciness, mouth-watering, chocolate nuts, the full aroma of a, well, of a European oak cask. And a whiff, <laughs> a whiff of mint. Not too much, no. Vanilla coming up, caramel, good casks. Hmm. Far too long ago that I had one of this. Mouth watering, full aromatic, sweet oranges, spicy, nuttiness, chocolate. Not too dark, not too bitter, no, just spicy. Wonderful. The aftertaste, a little orange is coming up. I can't spoil that drop. No, I'm afraid not. <sighs> yeah, I really have to say, mm, mm, this is my, one of my really favorite single malt whiskies. There's everything okay with this bottle. There's no coloring not chill filtered, it's affordable, uh, it's consistent, it shows this wonderful ruby color and there's this full aroma of the of the finishing process. There's this uh, smooth and silky distillery character of Glenmorangie. So everything is close to perfect with this bottle. Thank you for watching, stay tuned, there's more to come and feel free to add your comments to our whiskey database and please comment in our forum and vlog. Thank you.